Hi, I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage. This is our monthly tech meet, and we're going to be working on Silver Shadow height control components. So I'm going to floss it with some steel floss. It's a little, a little far. <laughs> That's about what they use. Yeah, yeah, I know. Hey! There you go. No, that, that didn't go through the hole. So, yeah, still got some booger on it. Let's get a bigger hammer. And I'm just trying to take any burrs off of that that could have developed by it being cockeyed or who knows. Ronnie, how does this system work? Is there some electronic system with a, a level in it with a little bubble and when it notices something's going on then it pushes the valve this open is, to do it? This is, this is what does it. But one on each wheel. So when you add weight to the car, the wheel, the body's going to drop and it's going to push this arm up and then that'll apply the hydraulics to that side. And then it'll keep going up until it's level, and then well, it it'll go up valve. until it, it'll it'll well, it'll go up to wherever you adjust it to go. This you adjust when the car is running, uh, and it'll it'll go to where it's supposed to go that way. Um, it doesn't. It's not like an electronic ride control by any means. I still can't. Oh. So when you put this back on the car, do you load it full of weight to see the the low part? And that's one way of doing it. Oh, it's falling out good. We're going to say it's good. All right, so now we've got to put one of these washers back in. Oh. <laughs> the car is sitting for a period of time for the system to bleed down so that you lose your pressure in that. The accumulator will bleed down after. So consequently, the, the car will sink down. Not if the springs are good. They should stay level. Okay. Okay. Now you see that a lot on the mineral oil cars where the car will sag down when they sit for a long time. That has to do with that minimum pressure valve and the condition of the hydraulics on it. So now what I did is I dropped first one of these, then I dropped the next one, and then this one is going inside and you can see it's, it's magnetic. Another the youngster over there. I, I don't know close, but okay. to see what he's doing from here. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I put that button in there, I put this back in there, and now we'll drop an O-ring in there. As you can see, this O-ring is round. The old one was no longer. Fits right in there. We can put a little splooge on this, I guess. And there's no other passages in there. Or you already That's it. it that restricts it. No. No, you got one in this way and you got two out this way. Or it might go the opposite direction depending on where it is. Ah, there it is. You hear it? Yeah. You guys heard it, right? Yeah. I'm not crazy. I guess this amplifies it. So then all you got to do is just lightly hold that. And all you're doing is crushing that O ring. There's another one of those cases where you put a three quarter inch wrench on. You know, no, you just. It's down at the bottom, just a little bit more. Click. That's all, yeah, that's a Ronnie click. <laughs> all right, so that's a restrictor valve. There are two of them. If you're going to do one, you better do both. Yeah. Success. <laughs> what's, what's that? Maracas. Miraculous? Oh, maracas. Okay. The early shadows they did. They had it. Uh, forget what. It's a roll, a roll, valve, a compensating, something like that. And they had a, a height control valve mounted in the center, from the body to, I think one of the swing arms. And they had rams on top of the front springs, like they did in the rear. And even though Citron has had that kind of system since day one, Rolls Royce couldn't make it work. So they had a recall. Well, I don't think they called them then back then, service action. And they, they disconnected all of them because it didn't work right. It's supposed to compensate because these early, the early cars with that on there, they rolled a lot in the corners. 
Uh, so you go into a corner and it would dip a lot. So they tried to fix it, but it just had not but problems. So everyone I've ever seen either has the lines taken off and plugs put in it, or the arm disconnected and lines plugged. Um, so they don't dip anymore. Well, they just they dip. But not. They just don't. I don't even know what 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 the problem was when they were they had problems. To be honest, I haven't been around that long. I started in 1979. All right, here's your height control solenoid. Pretty simple thing here. And these will have some function problems, but usually they just leak, and you'll get a leak right out of here. That's what it looks like here. Uh, no, this is this is undercoating that's on there. This one wasn't oh. leaking. So this is a lock nut. Not to be confused with the center shaft here. Once again, I don't have all the tools I need. There's an adjustment on that? Yes, there is an adjustment. I'm glad you talked about that. So what causes them to leak is this O-ring right there. All right. So typically, the best way to do this on the car is on the car, because this is mounted up. It's got a bunch of hydraulic lines. And you can access this pretty easy right here. You just disconnect the line going to it, and you can unscrew it. But unfortunately, if you unscrew it when it's on the car, a lot of times, well, this one's not going to do it, but it, the parts will come out. This one's stuck. How's that sound? <laughs> I just thought about that. He's right there. Thanks. I, I learned when I was doing my videos yesterday that the sounds are ridiculous. We're almost there. But that's the only way you can get it out. You can't, this one is sticky. So this will cause noises too. If you have a shadow, you've probably heard that clunking in the rear when you take, put it in and out of gear, you'll hear a clunk. And it's not the, the drive shaft wrapping up, it's this valve right here. So I'm going to grab some pliers. This is, I, we're definitely going to take that all the way apart. Let me grab some pliers and the right size wrench here. That valve is the thing that makes it clunk. It can make it yeah. clunk, yeah. It can. Can you get a drive shaft too? No, there's two different noises. This is a hydraulic noise. All right. So, and just so you know, Steve, the look on your face when I was doing that was precious. Priceless. <laughs> that too. Oh my, a sucker. There's that. And there is some more stuff in there. There we go. There should be a bunch of little washers too. There's one. We got shim washers in there. Look at that rubber, black rubber mm -hmm. stuff. So the clunking noise you're hearing on this is this is an electric solenoid, so when you energize this, it acts as a magnet and pulls this thing up. So when it pulls it up, it opens this passage right here to allow the fast fluid to go through. And when it's closed, when it's not activated, then what it does is it, it routes it through another passage, uh, on, through a restrictors. And this is a double A battery? <laughs> and I can. Now they're nickel metal hydride, isn't that it? And I M I H. What are we gonna do with all those batteries from those cars that are out there? <laughs> we'll just put them out in the desert, right? That's it. <laughs> That's what we do. That's where the nuclear waste goes, right? It's buried in the ground out in the desert. Nobody lives there. Yeah, we'll just eliminate the restrictions. They can put it anywhere, you know? Yeah. So I'm going to polish this up. This was definitely stuck. You can tell because I had to bang it to get it out. The one trick I was going to tell you guys, because I was hoping that was going to fall out, because when you're working on it on the car, when you pull this plug out, 
if we were working on it on the car, it would have just fallen out with all the piston. And, and then it's just a real challenge to deal with at that point. So there is a trick. If you're quick, you just turn the car on, the ignition on, in neutral, open the door, and it activates this and pulls it up so it doesn't fall out. Or you can hotwire it, whatever you want to do. One goes to ground, one is just yeah. the do battery. Do you leave the accumulator down before you start working on this? Or? Yes, you got to depressurize the system. Mm -hmm.